Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is about five ways to wear a knit tie. A knit tie is something most men are not always familiar with. Most men know regular neckties, three-fold neckties with a pointed tip. On the other hand, a traditional knit tie is flat at the bottom because that's the way it's knitted and it's also straight on the sides. That means the top of the tie is as wide as the bottom. Sometimes you can also find knit ties in a shape of a traditional tie, meaning it has pointed tips and it gets wider as it goes down. However, that's very difficult to make because you have to manually remove the knots of each line on top to create the traditional three-fold tie shape. If you want to learn more about knit ties, the differences between them, what's a quality knit tie, what's a crappy knit tie, what materials they're made out of, I suggest to check out our knit tie guide here. Now, today we talk about why you should wear a knit tie and what it can do for you. First of all, a knit tie has a fantastic texture. By that, I mean it's three-dimensional when you look at it, but also when you touch it. Because of that, it is less formal and it's more casual and therefore it's very well suited for most outfits today which are not super formal but more casual and relaxed. When you go with silk knit ties, I always urge you to go with a cri de la soie knit ties which means cry of the silk and it gets its name because when you touch it and move it between your fingers you hear a crunch. This crunch means that the tie is thicker it's not as fluid, it stands up when you hold it up and it's just a very sophisticated look. To get a knit tie in that way, it has to be made on a very old machine and all knit ties you can see in the video here from Fort Belvedere are made that way. They're first knitted flat, then put on a wooden form so they get the shape, then they're steamed and sewn together by hand in the back. It's much more time intensive than to knit them round like a sock which is what most manufacturers do today, but we believe in quality and therefore we go the extra mile. Because they're made from a high twisted silk yarn that really crunches when you touch it, it won't wrinkle at all. So it's a perfect time for travel or if you are prone to just throwing your ties somewhere and not storing them properly. Three, a knit tie is different and sets you apart. Even though knit ties are popular with well-dressed gentlemen today, I would say the general public or the average Joe is not quite familiar with knit ties and so if you wear one, it automatically makes you stand out in a sophisticated, subtle way. The fourth reason you should invest in knit ties is because they're so versatile. They can be worn with a formal business suit and because of its more relaxed character, they bring down the formality. At the same time, they can be worn with regular sport coats and even if you don't have a sport coat, it may be just a Harrington jacket or a linen jacket. So let's look at five different outfit categories and ways you can incorporate knit ties into your outfits. First of all, business suits. Most men wear regular neckties with them, however, a knit tie can add an element of texture to it, especially if you have a solid business suit in charcoal or navy. For a business suit, I'd stay away from wool knit ties and stick with silk knit ties because the difference in terms of formality is just right. The wool would be too casual and it would be clashing. A silk knit tie, on the other hand, is different enough to make it look interesting without being totally over the top and different. For example, if you wear a knit tie with a rope stripe suit, it definitely softens the look. Especially if you go with something like a burgundy color or maybe a navy that is a traditional business color. If you wanna be a little more advanced, you can wear something like I'm having here right now. It is a tone of purple and pink, but the yarns are different in color. And similarly to tweed, it's just a very rich color experience. At the same time, there is a light background, and so it can work with a solid business suit or with a subtle pattern. Other colors I think are great for a formal business suit are a malachite green, maybe a bottle green, a rust orange, a pale yellow, or if you really want to be extra special, you can also go with orange mottled tones, maybe light blue mottled tones, or something that's very out there such as purple. Another easy color to combine with blue suits is brown and therefore a tobacco brown knit tie is also a great investment. At the same time, you can wear it with a lot of items in your casual wardrobe. So 
definitely a good tie to have in your tie closet. The second way to wear a knit tie is with a blazer. A knit tie is the perfect companion for a blazer because it's less formal than a suit. At the same time, it's still a jacket odd combination. And no matter if you wear it with chinos or maybe flannel pants in off-white, and therefore the knit tie ties everything well together. If you like it bolder, you can go with your navy blazer and maybe a striped shirt and a magenta colored knit tie, especially with a two-tone. It's a pop of color and it definitely makes you stand out from the crowd. In the summer, I suggest to go with mottled yarn knit ties, such as the one I'm wearing here right now. Alternatively, you can go with a lighter blue for a more fresher, airy look, maybe with some orange or with this kind of pink purplish tone. One thing that's a little more subdued would be to go with a brown mottled knit tie or maybe even a silver gray one. That being said, a navy blazer with its solid background is the ideal stage for you to wear a knit tie in a color at your heart's content. The third way to wear knit ties, and probably in my opinion, the ultimately best way is to wear it with a tweed jacket. Tweed is a wonderful warm wool fabric that is woven in Britain. And to learn more about the history and the differences in tweed, please check out our in-depth tweed guide here. By definition, tweed is a more casual garment with a nice texture and rich colors. Because of that, knit ties are the ideal companion because they add a strong texture and just fit in very well in the overall scheme. Tweed is an ideal garment for fall winter outfits and because of that I urge you to wear it with more subdued and earthy tone knit ties. That could be a rusty bronze orange, maybe a bottle green or a very dark purple. You could also go maybe with a tobacco brown, maybe a pale yellow, but I'd say clear of very bright tones and also from very light ones such as the mottled ones in maybe light blue because it's too summery and too airy. Also, I'd stay clear of navy ones because they're just more suited to slightly more formal outfits. The fourth outfit you can wear it with is a casual suit. Now some will say, wait a minute, a suit that is casual? How does that go together? Well, there are business suits that you wear to the office, but then there are also suits that you wear not to the office, such as a tweed suit that I'm wearing here right now. Alternatively, it could be a flannel suit in a glenjack pattern, for example, with a blue overcheck. Unlike a worsted cloth, which can be pretty much worn year round, flannel is particularly good during the colder months of the year because it has a fuzzy texture, it's heavier, so it makes you warmer, and it's usually made of these mottled toned yarns, which means you have a very interesting color depth. To learn more about the differences between worsted wool and flannel, please check out the respective guides on our website. Probably the most popular flannel suit out there is the gray flannel suit. It is business appropriate, but you can also change the look with your accessories to make it more casual and informal. A great color to wear with a great flannel suit is in my opinion, a solid burgundy tie or a rust orange tie or even a purple tie. At the same time, you can also wear green you just need something with enough of a contrast that is not too strong, but overall that will make you look very, very dapper. For a more casual suit, such as the tweed one I'm wearing here right now, or a flannel suit, maybe in a glenshack, you go with something that is contrasting, yet ties in with something else in the outfit. That could be the pocket square. Or for example, with this brown glenshack suit with a blue overcheck, I'm going with a blue knit tie that picks up that color so everything is rounded out and harmonious. With this kind of suit, I would not wear a brown knit tie because it's simply too close and it doesn't have enough contrast. The fifth way to wear knit ties is with a relaxed outfit. Maybe you're the kind of guy who doesn't want to wear a jacket but still wants to be somewhat dressy and likes to wear maybe vests. In that case, a knit tie is ideal because it closes the V gap of the shirt and the vest you're wearing and it just ties everything very well together. Now, the knit tie has that extra texture that is perfect for an informal ensemble of that nature. On the other hand, maybe you don't like vests, but you like casual jackets, such as a Harrington jacket or maybe a linen safari jacket. And you can wear knit ties with that as well. Because of the casual nature, I encourage you to go with bolder colors, maybe two-tone colors, 
and just be playful and go with something that you enjoy. Try to pick up colors in your outfit. It could be your shoes, it could be your shirt, it could be your pants, or maybe even your socks. Another great relaxed way to wear knit ties is to combine it with a sweater. Personally, I really like the combination, no matter whether it's a cardigan or maybe a heavy knit cable sweater. Just bear in mind, if you wear ties with a sweater, go with a V-neck because they really highlight the tie knot and a crew neck will simply hide it and it looks bad. In today's outfit, I'm wearing a suit that I acquired not too long ago. It is a vintage suit and I really liked it because it was a tweed suit, which is not something you find too often because tweed has a tendency to wear out very quickly, especially in the thigh area, simply because the weave is oftentimes much looser than let's say a worsted. It is a gray Donegal tweed that has a undertone of blue. Because of that, I paired it with a mottled blue knit vest and blue suede boots. Because the blue color is in the suit, it all looks very harmonious. At the same time, the vest is contrasting and so are the shoes. It's very unusual to have blue suede shoes, but in this ensemble, it works quite well because I pick up the color in other elements. My shirt is a light blue dress shirt. I'm wearing it with French cuffs and cufflinks from Fort Belvedere. These are silver monkey fist cufflinks. My tie is a silk cri de la soie knit tie from Fort Belvedere. It has these mottled tones that you can also see in the jacket, yet it has enough of a contrast in purple, magenta, and pink to make it stand out. At the same time, it's not too bold and over the top. I pick up the color tones of my tie in the pocket square and also in my boot laces. That way, everything is tied together and harmonious. Likewise, the socks I'm wearing are gray and pink shadow stripe from Fort Belvedere, which go very well with this tie. My ring, on the other hand, is a silver ring that goes well with my cufflinks and a blue lapis lazuli stone, which picks up the blue tones in my outfit. I haven't brought this suit to the alterations tailor yet, and while a jacket is quite okay, you can see that the pants have a little hole in the front, so I'll have to get that fixed, and I think I also want them to be less of a boot cut and more tapered at the bottom. What other things do you think I should have changed at this suit? Please leave a comment below. All the details you saw in this video here can be bought in our shop, so please head over and take a look at our in-depth selection.